Hey everyone, welcome into a special training camp update. This time we're coming to you from the KZTV5 studio and our locker room set. If you have any questions, make sure that you put them in the chat and hopefully we'll get to answer them. But thank you for joining us. The Chiefs back on the practice field after Kansas City's first preseason win this weekend. KZTV5's Adam Orduna has your training camp report from St. Joe. The Kansas City Chiefs return to the practice field for training camp here at Missouri Western, coming off of their first preseason game against the 49ers, in which the team said they were glad to be playing, but there's still work to do. Some things we can definitely learn from, and uh, um, but it was most of all, it was good to get the young guys some reps in there. I thought they did a nice job for the most part, assignment-wise, effort-wise, um, making plays, and then down the stretch. It was good to see him battle through and get the win. It felt good. Um, it was fun to get back out there. Um, you know, obviously things you can improve on as always, but from a body aspect, it's really just trying to maintain those gains you make throughout the year and, uh, you know, stay healthy. Rookie right guard Trey Smith made his NFL debut against the 49ers and said that this offensive line could be a special group. We take a lot of pride in that fact. Um, you know, working cohesively as a five-man unit, uh, you know, we take pride in moving the people in front of us. So we know we have some studs on offense, and it's our job just to give them time and space to allow them to do what they do. There are some things that we did well, a lot of things we got to work on. Uh, you know, we're, we're working for perfection, but obviously we're never going to attain that. But there's always something that we can do better, and, uh, you know, getting on our assignments, better technique. There's always something we can improve on. So the Chiefs will have two more practices this week before training camp wraps up, and we'll get ready for the Arizona Cardinals for their second preseason game coming up on Friday. Reporting in St. Joseph, Adam Orduna, KCTV 5 Sports. Thank you very much. For the game itself, we're going to break it down for you. The Chiefs starters may have only played a few drives, but there was still no shortage of highlights. The game-winning touchdown came from fourth-string quarterback Shane Bouchelle, gave Kansas City the 19-16 victory, and this was really the first chance for KC fans to see a number of new Chiefs. In total, eight new players were among the team's starting 22. It's crunch time for the young players and the undrafted free agents battling for a spot on the roster. No one knows being versatile better than Ben Neiman, who's a key player on the defense and special teams. He's been giving a lot of advice lately to the guys on the bubble. Yeah, I think it's really, you know, all the mindset of just being bought into it. Um, you know, Tobe talks about that, and uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of a, a mentality, a mindset, just being open to helping the team in, in really any way you can, increasing your value, basically. And he says Nick Bolton, the rookie linebacker out of Mizzou, has been impressing the veterans with his versatility. Yeah, he's doing a good job. I'd say he's a really bright young guy. Um, you know, schematically, he's been able to pick stuff up pretty quick. And, uh, you know, I'll give him a lot of credit. Being a rookie, he's been able to kind of play multiple spots as well, which you don't see oftentimes. You know, it's just getting comfortable and getting into things uh, at one spot and you kind of go from there, but he's been able to pick up the scheme pretty quick. Tight end Blake Bell might not show up in the box score after Saturday's preseason win over the 49ers, but he got quite a few snaps. His value doesn't lie in his gaudy numbers. The Chiefs brought him back because Bell can do it all, especially block really well. You know, I've had some good tight end coaches, you know, going through my these past six years and uh, it's helped me a lot, you know, kind of starting with that first year at Oklahoma. Uh, you know, we kind of ran the ball a lot. We we're doing a lot of power, so that helped me try to get in a three-point stance and, and try to figure out, you know, how to run block. So, and that carried into each and every year, um, and it kept getting better. So, like I said, just the more reps you get, and you know, you got a guy like Chris Jones out there going against him in a six technique every day. That's that's going to make you better. But next up for Kansas City, they're going to visit the Arizona Cardinals Friday, August 20th at 7 o'clock. The Chiefs then return to Arrowhead on Friday the 27th to host the Minnesota Vikings. The 53-man roster cutdown day arrives on August 31st. Then the Chiefs and Browns will kick off the regular season on September 12th. Well, be sure to join us on KCTV 5 for the best coverage of the Chiefs in Kansas City. And thank you so much for joining us here. We'll see you tonight on KCTV 5 News.